This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create a text portrait using GIMP and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using and all images I will be using for this tutorial will be linked in the description of the video. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our image of Abraham Lincoln. Um, let's go ahead and save that somewhere where you can access it if you want to follow along. I'm going to right click that and go to open with GIMP and again this will be linked in the description of the video and one thing I'd like to point out is that if you'd like to do this with your own picture or another picture you have to make sure that it's sitting on a transparent background first so if you want to use an image just go ahead and erase the background using the erase tool or the um, the magic wand to the fuzzy select tool or whatever it is that you like to do to crop out the background so uh, for this one we have our background already cut out and now that we have this open we're gonna click this button that says create a new layer and the new layer we want we want this to be white and go ahead and click OK. And I'm just going to click and drag to move that down beneath the Abraham Lincoln image. And I'm going to click on the Abraham Lincoln image and I'm going to duplicate that by clicking the button over here that says uh, create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. So we now have two copies of that. And with this duplicate copy up top, I'm going to go to colors and threshold. And it's going to strip everything down to black and white. And what I want to do now is just take this little node here in the center and just adjust this until it looks good something like that that looks pretty good like that and go ahead and click OK to finalize that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this eyeball to make that layer invisible and I'll click on this middle layer here and now I'm gonna right click that layer and go to alpha to selection and it's gonna put an outline around the entire image and what I want to do now is from the colors here I'm gonna change this I want to change this color to black we want black set as your foreground color click OK and we'll go to edit fill with FG color or foreground color and that's going to fill that in with black and we can go ahead now and press uh, select none and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the visibility for this layer as well so we have no layers visible and now it's time to add our text so in order to do this I'm going to grab the text tool and uh, for this I'm using the font is League Gothic you can you can use whatever font you'd like I've noticed that heavyweight fonts tend to work best with this uh, for the size for this image this is a fairly large image so I used it uh, size 49 but this, this is something you could always adjust this uh, as you go along for the color I'm gonna use uh, like a dark shade of blue something like uh, something like that Maybe a little more okay and this is important here this middle line here the spacing between the lines we want to have that set to like negative eight we want it we don't want to have a lot of spacing between lines of text and once we have that set we can just come up here to the top left corner of the page and just click and drag to create a box going around the perimeter of the image and that's where our text is gonna go and I just grabbed some random quote that I found in Google from Abraham Lincoln and I'm just gonna copy and paste that into GIMP. If you want, I'll put this in the uh, description of the video as well if you'd like to copy and paste this quote in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit Control V. Control V to paste it. And there it is. Let me press space bar. Let me copy that even more. I made this box a little too big. You know what? I'm going to take this corner and bring that right about there. There we go. So what I'll do now is I'll just, uh, again, control V to paste it, control V, control V, control V. And instead of doing this a million times, once we've done it a few times and we have a big size paragraph like that, we can just go ahead and click and drag over all of that. Hit control C to copy it. Make life a little easier, then come back and copy, paste that in. Let me zoom out a little bit. To zoom in and out, I'm holding control and rolling up and down on the mouse wheel. Control V, control V and one more should do the trick and okay what we could do now is I'm gonna right click that actually no I'm not gonna right click it I'm gonna duplicate that layer by clicking this button that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image and I'm gonna take that duplicate copy and just click and drag that down to the bottom out of the way for now we're gonna come back to that in just a minute and now we're gonna click on this Abraham Lincoln the very top one we're gonna turn that on turn the visibility on and we're gonna come over to the tool that says um, select by color and we're gonna click on the color black anywhere on the image where there's black go ahead and click that and it's gonna select everything that's black 
And we want to invert that now by going to select invert. And now we can go ahead and delete that layer. So we'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And now we'll click on our very top text layer up here and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of all that. And now we can go to select none. And you'll see we start, we're start we starting to have the, um, the shape of Abraham Lincoln with all of the text in there. And the next step would be to fill in the rest of the image with a lighter shade, as you've noticed what I've done here. So with this one, um, I'm going to turn off the visibility of this for now, that top quote. We'll come back to uh, the second Abraham Lincoln layer right here. We'll turn that on. And I'm going to take the text, this text layer, and I'm going to bring this just up one layer above the white layer. And I'll click on the Abraham Lincoln layer again. And uh, what I want to do now is, let me turn that off. Let's click on this uh, text layer right here. We're going to change the color of that to a light green. So let's grab the text tool and click on the text. And then we're going to just change the color of that to like a lighter shade of green or whatever color you'd like really. There's no, you don't have to use the colors I'm using here. I just thought this looked pretty good. Go ahead and click OK. And that changes the color of it. Okay, maybe not that light. It's really not legible that light. I'm going to darken that up a little bit. Maybe something like that. That's better. Okay, and what we could do now is we could turn on the visibility for that Abraham Lincoln image. We could turn that back on. We can click on that layer. And again, we want to go back to the Select by Colors tool. And again, click on the area of the image that's black. And then we'll go to Select, Invert. And then we can delete that layer by clicking the Delete button. And now with our text layer selected, we can just press Delete on the keyboard. And go to Select, None. And we can turn on the visibility of the top text layer. And there you have it. We now have our image of Abraham Lincoln made out of text. So that's how you can do that with GIMP. Uh, if you notice when you zoom into 100%, it doesn't really look that noticeable. But when you zoom out, that's when it really starts to come to life. So uh, that's how you can do that with GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.